Especially with the Dragons, Jack DeBellin. Jack, excited for Nines last year. You missed out through injury. Yeah, that's right. Um, Nines, is, it's an unreal event, and just to get around it, it it's, it's unreal. And yeah, to miss out on it last year, I was a bit disappointed. Um, I had a, some stomach trouble, so it hospitalised me, and um, yeah, I missed out on it. So I'll be definitely keen to get in there this year. You were there the first year. What was that like playing in that different style of footy and in front of that crowd over there? Yeah, it was unbelievable. I don't, I don't think anyone expected it to be that big and um, take off the way it did. Just the way the fans got behind it, the players played really hard as well, and it was just an exciting weekend all around. And the style of footy, is it something that you like? Um, I'd like to think so. I'd, I'd like to think of myself as a bit creative and a bit of a ball handler. So, um, especially being one of the smaller forwards as well, um, I'd like to back my speed and uh, hopefully we can see what happens. It's a nice jersey as well that you've got for the event. Yeah, it is. Um, nice and red anyway, so um, it will definitely stand out and yeah, it fits nice as well. A bit of a different position um, to what you would have been in two years ago playing nines. You would have been one of the younger guys. You're still quite young, but you're sort of one of the senior players now in the group. Yeah, that's right. Um, yeah, I'm only 24 still, but definitely with the, the player turnover and a few of the older boys going now, it's, it was time for me to step up and be one of those senior players. And um, yeah, it's, 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 been very, it's been different, but it's been really good. And um, I've definitely uh, embraced the role of being a bit of a senior player. You enjoy that sort of leadership role? Yeah, I do. Um, kind of being um, behind the shadows for a bit now, it's time for me to step out and definitely, because the boys know I've been there for a while, they, um, they know what they're going to get out of me. And um, I know a lot of boys look to me for um, leadership and inspiration, so hopefully I can provide that, and um, not just through my words, but through my actions. And you're back at pre-season training now. How are things going? Uh, they're going good. It's like any pre-season, you know what you're going to get. It's, it's pretty tough, and um, it's a bit of a slog fest, but there's good days, there's bad days, and there's, um, I think I've got a yo-yo test to go back to, so um, that's exciting times. Have you seen some of the young talent in your squad um, now? Like, Who should we look out for in nines this year that might be some superstars that make their name? Someone like Ewan Aiken, even though he kind of burst on the scene last year, I think he's still got more to prove and he hasn't shown any of the potential that he's capable of. And um, We've got a few young forwards as well, like Jacob Host and Harme Arsale. So you never know what's going to happen. Hopefully they can show what they're about in the nines and hopefully get an NRL spot from that. And a good way to have a bit of a run before you actually hit um, the full regular season? Yeah, definitely. It's, uh, it's, it is like a little fitness session. Um, it definitely takes it out of you. And, it's a lot different to a normal NRL game. You can kind of get your, your breath back after like uh, a kick out or something like that. But in the nines, it's full wall the whole time and you're kind of just like looking for an interchange at certain points. So yeah, it's, it's a good hit out. We hope to see you out there. Yeah, definitely. Thank you. Thanks a lot.